My name is Bosaya Twins and I am a consultant at Clearview Research and on this project with Understanding Patient Data, I was a strategic advisor. I'm Dr. Ba. I'm a law student. I'm currently doing my master's and I was a community researcher for the Understanding Patient Health Data project. Hello, my name is Anam Chaudhry. I took part in Understanding Patient Health Data research project as a community researcher. Hi, my name is Aisha Ali and I am a participant in this research program. Hi, my name is Tumayim Pinnock and I'm currently a law student. My name is Sam. I was a participant in the project um, which was about understanding patient health data. Understanding Patient Data commissioned Clearview Research to design a research study that helps them better understand what health data means to people from Black and South Asian communities and what they know about how their data is collected and shared by the NHS. For example, do they know that their health data forms part of wider data sets that could be used to shape how the NHS spends its money or sometimes used as part of wider research studies with the aim of finding better ways to treat certain health conditions such as diabetes. For this project, we wanted to understand how important health data is to people from Black and South Asian communities, how they think it should be used and why it could be better. This is to help inform decision makers on how to better collect this information that will help us better understand health inequalities. And hopefully this leads to improved health outcomes for people from Black and South Asian communities. It's important to know that this research isn't intended to get people to share their health data or to find out why they don't share their health data. I found out about this project, uh, this research project through our local voluntary sector council. They were promoting the recruitment of community researchers. The reason I um, decided to take part is because I I've been really interested in health research. Uh, and at the same time, because of the uh, current COVID and pandemic issues, I wanted to work with our Asian communities to understand um, the views of our communities with regards to um, health data and what they think about it. Um, Asha, have you uh, participated in research like this before? Um, and, uh, and what motivated you to, to take part in this research? Uh, I haven't taken part in this type of research before. Uh, especially one that was conducted over the social media, over the Zoom recording. It was quite exciting to participate. So what motivated you to uh, take part? I think being given the opportunity to represent the Asian community and to create a voice uh, for myself and uh, in representation of them as well, that was the motivation. And I got involved in this project because it was centering the voices of my community. I'm a member of the Black community and I like that this project gave us an opportunity to you know, center our experiences, our voices, our perspectives and it was a really inclusive environment and also I come from a family of healthcare professionals so I was just interested in health data, health research in general and I think the one thing that really sold me about this particular research was the idea of a community researcher. I think my previous interactions with you know discussion groups, interviews and so on and so forth had always been from the perspective of an expert you know, engaging with maybe a member of my community. But the fact that I would be trained and then empowered to go back and speak to members of my community, I thought that was so great. So yeah, that's why I got involved in this research project. Especially in light of 2020 BLM and kind of the discussion of COVID and health disparities, I took an especial interest in kind of healthcare and its impact on the BAME community. And it is why I ended up doing my health law dissertation in that topic itself. So obviously, having the opportunity to then take part in research myself as a member of the Black community, um, it was something I had to jump out. I wanted to get involved in this project because firstly, I wanted to share my opinions. I thought it would be really cool to have my voice be heard and when it comes to understanding patient health data. And secondly, um, the financial incentives was incredible and I thought, why not? Qualitative research is about the how and why and not the how many. So for this work, we wanted to understand the how and why behind these diverse experiences. At Clearview, we designed this research to be as representative as possible. We know that not all Black or South Asian communities think the same. They have many different experiences and views. So one of the priorities of this work 
was to ensure that we gather insights from a diverse sample of people from Black and South Asian communities. To achieve this, we took a two-pronged approach. We engaged 85 participants from Black and South Asian communities over a total of 11 exploration labs. Exploration labs are like focus groups where people can share their experiences, views and ideas and incorporate visuals and graphic methods to map out their counter responses. We also recruited eight community researchers to co-produce this research over a period of five months. They didn't need any prior research experience because we trained them in research design methods and limitations. We also worked with each community researcher to develop their research approach and provided support as they engaged their respective communities in the research. Clearly, we really went through a detailed training program for which I'm really grateful because it was a really learning process for me in terms of how I engage with our community. And uh, it was really clear because uh, we had, a, I think, about four to five weeks of a comprehensive training program. I don't think any other research program does that. My approach that I took was to um, introduce the research project to the CEOs of the community sector organizations, which are working to benefit the Asian community. So I engaged with them. I also um, conducted survey with individuals uh, on the streets, uh, in the markets, but also undertook a number of focus group meetings with communities of interest uh, within the community setting. Where the Exploration Labs achieved a depth in insights and engagement, the community research achieved breadth of experience. We also worked with the community researchers to inform the discussions in the Exploration Labs and engage them at the end of the process to sense check our findings. This enabled us to ensure that we contextualise the findings, that we represent them correctly and frame them in suitable and appropriate ways. What is your concern about providing uh, your personal data to GPs or doctors? I don't have any particular concern, but as long as the questions are relevant to the specific research, then I don't have any um, problems in providing that information. I think what I found most interesting is that when we first started the research program, we started under the perception that uh, black and Asian communities don't give their health data. And, and that was quite surprising for me as well, because I, I as an Asian person, never refused to give data, um, as long as it's relevant to the subject. So the perception was that um, uh, black and Asian people don't give their uh, uh, personal data. That was, I found to be incorrect uh, because most of the people that I um, uh, that took part in the research uh, through my uh, uh, programs uh, were very happy to provide that, uh, their personal health data, as long as, as I said before, it benefits their health and the health of the white communities. Mostly I thought that maybe my data might be contributing to national statistics, some surveys and so on, but the fact that my data can be used to help people that, you know, I might pass by on the street or someone, you know, I might see at the bus stop, it was so much more personal, so much more intimate and so much more tangible. So I think I took something from having that knowledge after participating in this research. Before getting involved in this project, I don't think I'd ever considered how my data as a patient was being used. So there was a lot of new and surprising things that I found out. One person, a participant who was a black woman, talked about feeling like they had to you know, raise their voice and really advocate for themselves before they were heard. But they didn't want to do that because they didn't want to fall into stereotypes of you know, the, ang the angry black woman. So instead of falling into a stereotype, they rather withheld information that we really could have been crucial or life and death. And I remember them sit, talking about how they then went online to then diagnose themselves with an issue just because they felt so disempowered or so dismissed. Coming to the benefits first of providing patient data, I do kind of wonder if sometimes there's a little niggle in the back of my mind that maybe it will be of some disadvantage to me. And the reason I say that is because you do see the examples of or you do see the data in general about how maybe BAME people receive um, kind of less desirable results um, in the healthcare setting due to unconscious bias. So as much as that is niggling behind my mind every time I'm ticking the I am black African box, I do think in general that when you provide more data, you would get more catered care for yourself. The concerns associated 
um, with collecting health data, I think people are always worried as to what is happening with your data. So the more information you require from people, I think that heightens skepticism. And particularly in kind of vulnerable communities where there has been some sort of hurt or some sort of loss maybe that they associate with a certain system, it then will make it harder for them to kind of trust and participate and give data that is so private to them, especially when it's in an area that is so important. Like I do say health is one of the core things that helps us to kind of live life well. So Mm -hmm. when you're combining that and the fact that it is very private information, trusting someone with all of that is very difficult to begin with. It is important to understand that although the insights from this report reflect the lived experiences and realities of people who participated in the research, it cannot be used to generalize the overall population of Black and South Asian communities. This is a qualitative piece of work which should be used to gain a broader understanding of their views and experiences to complement broader quantitative research and future service design. I think um, that the way data is used is all about um, sharing and openness when it comes to information. And I think um, having walls up and barriers that make it hard for people to find out about how their data is being used is the real issue. So for me, I would make it as open and as accessible and as easy for people to find out about how their data is being used, but also the trends and the insights that are actually coming from their data, how they, their personal data is informing bigger themes. Uh, if I had the power to reinvent how patient data is used, uh, how would I do it? I would do it in a more visual way. Uh, I would use uh, uh, visual art uh, to demonstrate um, the importance of it, as well as to demonstrate the need for it, as well as to demonstrate the outcome of it. One thing I would say is just simplify the information. It doesn't have to be overly complicated and make it accessible, make it clear, make it engaging. And one other thing I would say is that Make sure that the formats that you use can also be easily translatable to different languages because there was a language barrier for some of my participants as well. And they didn't feel empowered to then say, I don't really understand this, but they would, you know, take what they could and and go with the rest. Ultimately, everybody is coming from some sort of bubble. So before you can start to think about how to collect data better and how to use data better, I think you first need to go down and first try and understand the communities you're trying to get this information from.